I'm joined here at Bishop's Gate by the Lanka Town Manager, Dara Doyle. And Dara, after a great win away to Galway, hopes a high of drawing level on points with Kevin Tilly, top of table clash with victory tonight. Fortunately, it didn't work out losing 3 1 in the end. Yeah, listen, we're really disappointed tonight. We've we probably got what we deserved. We, we gifted them two goals. Disappointing even on the second goal with our play. And um, we, we've, we can't have any excuses that that wasn't good enough tonight. It really wasn't in the first half. We didn't win our battles. We weren't forced to second ball. You know when you play Kevin Tilly that that's what the game is. And we, we didn't deal well with it and we allowed them to score goals too easy. We've been punished and we got what we deserve tonight. Now Longford Town did have some good chances in the first half. Rob Manley just off target with a header. And then uh, Aaron McNally looked like he was going to tap home. I think it was Rob Manley with the cross. Yeah. And Blackburn, who I thought was outstanding at right full for them tonight, came across and saved the day. But apart from that, you hit the nail on the head. Kevin Teeley deserved the three points. We're the better team yeah. overall. Yeah, no, like I say, after I think it was the first 10 or 15, we did have a great number of chances. We could have gone ahead. I think, like you mentioned, Rob had the chance with the header. He also had the ball that Rob put into the back post. That it looks like Aaron McNally's going to come in and top home, and it's superb defending where they're at. And at the same time, that that ball could have went either side of the post. And if you take the lead early in the game, it might become a different thing. After that, then, like you said, it was a mistake for the goals. And they, listen, give wrapped. We've mm. given wrapped that, that first goal in particular for them, and um, it's put them in the ascendancy where. They've, they've, let's be, like I said already, they, they deserve to win the game tonight with their performance. And then, of course, you brought on some substitutions that made, and they all impressed. Joe Gorman was good when he came on, both defensively, and of course, he got the goal. Yeah. And uh, the two young on the 19 lads again, Callum Warfield and Aaron McCabe. Yeah, listen, Joe's come on, he's, he's probably feel, will feel disappointed that he hasn't been in. Um, we know the quality that Joe has, and listen, now is the time for him to step up and show what he's all about as one of the more experienced players. He did do well when he came on. Um, the two young lads as well, Callum was a handful and Aaron possibly might be unlucky not to get in the end of one of the crosses there as well. I think when the keeper went down injured, I think he was almost on the end of that. But really disappointing night when it was an opportunity for us to go level with Cabin Tilly. We haven't taken it and we've now allowed a, a six point cap to open up between ourselves and them. And uh, next up is Cove Ramblers. I know Longford Town won their the last away game of the season last year, but it's a venue that Longford Town don't usually do too well in. Uh, down in St. Coleman's Park. So that's going to be a tough game. Injury front is Dean Byrne, yes, uh, fixed coming to the fray, and Mick McDonnell went off tonight. Yeah, now Dean Byrne has stepped it up a bit more in the, in the last week where he's been in and been involved with the group. We expect him to be in training fully with the group now. Will it be a light session tomorrow for the lads? We expect him to be in late in the week, and um, after next week, it might be the case where, fingers crossed, Dean Byrne can be available for selection, but possibly to the fortnight away. Uh, as regards Mick McNally, a little twinge on his hamstring, it was something that he'd, he'd been carrying slightly but he aggravated um, just before half time and it was a case that he, he had to come off so we'll, we'll assess that over the next couple of days, see how that is and, and hopefully it's, it's, it's not too serious um, on his front. Thanks.